Okay, so the first thing to note is that I graded this coin myself. And to the highly trained eye of the ignorant layman, it rated an MS-75. So you know this is going to be nice. Okay, and so Silverfish, if, if somehow you're watching this, I thank you so much for this. I did not see the actual coin hunt that she found this exact coin. Got lots of luster. And I remember when this V75 was was first coming out, and I thought, man, what a cheap way to honor the millions of people who sacrificed their time, energy, their lives during World War II with that little tiny little privy mark. I mean, it looks like they welded a little nub on the die and then just ground the V75 into it. You can barely see it on this one. That's no reflection on my girl Silverfish. And I looked at it already and I noticed that there was some discoloration or it had some spots on it. Uh, let me see, where were they? Looking at it through the magnifying glass. It had a little bit of dirt on it. Now she's the, okay, there they are, I'll show you. It's by the, in between George's head and the AM of America. And then again, right above and touching the word in, and in God we trust. And a little bit at the near the V75 at about the 430 position. So I'm going to hit it gently with the alcohol prep pad and see if I can rem if that's dirt or what that is. And if that don't work, I'll get some Ajax. <laughs> Okay, but you can kind of see the discoloration by the AM. And next, and above the N in, in God We Trust. You can kind of see it there. And at the 4 o'clock, 4.30 position next to the V75. And those other scrapes, right? Like there's a, a scrape right there. A scrape right there. Is there another one right there? Those, I don't know. So let's pop it out. And yes, my hands are clean because I just washed a bunch of pennies <laughs> with Dawn dish detergent. Okay, let me zoom back out. Alcohol prep pads nice and wet. This will remove any oils. Now, Silverfish is the one who put this in the 2x2. Two two. I trimmed the 2x2 two two to fit the flip. So it did not have any of my DNA on the coin. Like it does now. Just gently rubbing it. No dirt on the prep pad. And prep pads are for medical use. They're sterile, so it, it's clean. And the clad on this is part nickel, so it's tough. So the gentle circular motion that I'm using with this prep pad just enough to move oil is not going to 
damage the surface. Look at that bad boy shine. Man. Okay, now I don't want to, even though I just did. Now I don't want to touch the face of it. And did it remove? Nope. Next to the AM and by his head, that mark's still there. Above the N of In God We Trust. I always get tongue-tied on that one. That's still there. But did it remove... The two lines, remember there, there was a line right there and a line right there? Did it get rid of those? And the kind of discoloration, the mark at the 430 position of the V75, that remains. But it did remove those two lines that we were looking at a second ago. And it's hard to tell if there's dirt on the coin or if just the screen of my iPad is dirty. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to be wiping this coin for a while to get rid of that. So it's in beautiful condition. It's in, it's uncirculated. It's mint state. So I'm going to go talk to Jared. about sending this thing off and no matter how it comes back it's as worthy of being graded this gift right here as any and all of the gifts that I have been given so I'm going to let it dry for a little bit and I'm going to go see Jared, and I'll get back with you guys in a few minutes. Okay, hold on. All right, my friends, so I'm back. Actually, I've been back because this is dated February 29, right? And today's uh, March 5. <laughs> so I sent two coins out. One of them is a 2020 W American Samoa quarter. Uh, 40 bucks each to have silver graded or to have clad graded because the gold ones I sent out are always 60 bucks. Uh, four to five months to return. The last one only took like two months. So uh, yeah, I'll be looking forward to getting this one back, see what it looks. So in the meantime, I went to uh, the price guide on the PCGS website. And maybe you guys can help me understand what it is I'm looking at. So by scrolling up, Okay, so over here, you have, like, the individual quarter. So, like, there's a 2019 Philadelphia Frank Church River of No Return National Park. Okay, and the one I'm interested is highlighted already. 2020 W American Samoa National Park V75. Okay, so is this what... I think it is. Someone that knows more than me can help me out here. Okay, so up at the top, that's the grade, obviously, right? So 61. So do, would a 61 be worth $15 and there's none? Or there's no plus? Okay, so would a 62 be worth 17 if it has a plus would it be worth 18 or has 18 of them been graded is that what that means so like for example if there's 66 would it be worth 110 but then would it a 66 plus be worth 250 or have a suggested retail price i've seen other people say that uh pcgs is like overly optimistic on their selling prices. And so a 67, would it be rated at $650? So if someone who knows, tell me if that's what it means, if that's what I'm looking at. That's the straight grade suggested retail, and that's the straight grade plus 
suggested retail. And uh, so, and does this mean that they've never graded a 68? And does it also mean they've never graded a 60? Is that why that's blank right there? But either way, it doesn't matter because the coin will never be for sale. Being a gift as it was from my gal's silverfish. Uh, I tried to get in touch with her a couple Christmases ago. I sent her a, uh, a gold bar, a 1-1,000th flake of Scottsdale gold bars. and uh, But I never did hear back from her. So I hope she got it. And I hope that she can find this video someday. Uh, but in the meantime, have some patience and we'll find out what it is. All right, my friends, you have a good day.